Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be doing an ax mole shootout. So I've got the Fiskars X27. This ax is regarded as one of the best splitting axes in firewood. And then I've got this Fiskars six pound mole. I've got high hopes for this. It doesn't feel super heavy in your hand. Um, so hopefully it's kind of a good medium of the weight of an ax, but the splitting power and the head shape of a mole. So we're gonna try it out. Got some ash here and uh, see what we think. Really like this one. I think it's gonna be hard to beat, but we'll see how this one does. So. Oh yeah. You're not gonna wanna go back to that one. Get a, get a good size piece yeah, up there. Get, I'm gonna get one of these bigger. Ooh. At least it comes out easy. Very easy. You fall. And do its job. I'm always a fan of heavier moles. I don't waste my time with lighter axes. But they have their advantages, but that's that's very nice. This one might be the best one you've done so far. You uh you wanna swing a couple more? Damn. All right, now take this guy. So we tried out this one. It sounds like he likes it. You can try out the X27 now. Ooh. Again, doesn't really get stuck in the wood. A little bit knottier of a piece, so that wasn't a great piece, but that's very nice too, though. Nice and clean. Ooh, pulled right out. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a junk. Let me have that move. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I get you, to get you a good swing on that. <laughs> All right, it's my turn now. Try this guy out. Did it not feel good when it hit? It didn't feel like anything. Yeah. There's no vibration in this thing at all. Like, no, it's it just a blunt. It went. <laughs> it dunk. Yeah. And the best part of this, I feel like it goes straight through and I'm sticking it every time. It's not going wild on me. Yeah. Not, yeah. I really like that. Hey, I want to give a shout out to... King Farms and Firewood. When we were at the Huger Firewood Hysteria, he had one of these and he brought it especially so I could try it out. I hit it a couple times and I was like, yep, I need to buy one of these for myself and try it out. All right, let's get a... Ooh, she's a tough one. Gonna take a... Oh, it's cracking it. There it is. But one thing I liked about that, if it wasn't gonna split it, it, it didn't just stick. stick. It just yep. bounced until it, it actually bounced. went. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Still easy to get out. I love that. That six pounds, that's awesome. This one, just right off the bat, feels kind of weird now. Yeah, it's pretty light. Good luck. There it goes. So I feel like at that point, the other one with the more aggressive head goes right through. It already went through. But also, it's it's that's only four pounds. Yeah, it's just the aggressive around. head on that one being yep. wider. Well, and I think the, the little circumference of the where it's actually going to meet the wood and not a huge 
huge spot, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is that's what really helps this one. Then it's the, the thick back to it. Well. Hold on, let me split that one. Yeah. So in this test, we're going to uh, hit both of these big, big logs. Um, we're going to see how many times it takes to get to get get it to crack in half. And we're going to be using a couple different methods. I'm saying um, right down the center. How many times did you can half it? I, I agree. I and think the mold is going. to... They came from the same exact cut, so it should be very tree. similar wood. It's probably. Uh, 18 to 20 inches one way and 20 inches the other way so some big stuff just ash nothing crazy I'm not trying to split oak by hand that stuff's more uh, more work than I'm going to do so yeah we're, we're gonna start with this one give her give her some big swings looks like he's making a line You can't finish with this, you have to finish that oh. one with one. This is the whole point of the test. Typically, you set your own test up and then you go off of it. It's a tough one. Oh, gosh. You gonna have enough energy to finish it? I don't it? know. I think you're getting there. Bradley Thor would be proud of your uh, sticking to it. So guys, the proper way would be to kind of go around the edge and get it. But for the purpose of seeing how well you can just brunt split something, that's what we're doing. So you tired? Yeah, I don't think this one's going to do it. Maybe with your swings. Let me get out of the way. I'll try to finish this with this one. <sighs> There you go. It's opening up. Dude, I'd hit it one time. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. You're lucky I loosened it up for you. Well, yeah, you, you hit on it <laughs> quite a bit. All right, now for this one. Your turn. Six pound gets you a little bit, huh? Well, I just finished the other one off. So. Yeah. I think this one's a little bit wetter. Yeah. You'll get it.
You're getting some good cracks in it. I don't think it has any. Yeah, you just put one in it. You're gonna get it. This is where I'll cut the audio and uh, count the strings. <laughs> There it is. Had to have the old brother finish her off. All right, guys. So I think in having these bigger pieces, I'm not sure there's a clear cut winner. The piece on the left that was split by the X27, I feel like it, it took a few more swings, but because it was lighter, it didn't wear you out as quick. The piece on the right, I don't think took quite as many swings. Maybe I'll count them and we'll put it on the video. But it definitely swinging that six pounds over and over again. That'll get get to it, you. It it wears you out. But they're both half it. All right. So is there a clear cut winner between the two of overall splitting firewood? I don't know. I think it's just what you prefer. The time and place. Time and place. I think if you like a little bit of extra weight. I think this goes through the wood really good. Or if you're a bigger guy, you know, me and Jenna, we are we are smaller people. Yeah. But, you know, I do enjoy swinging the heavier things, so we don't have to swing it twice or three times as much. And uh, really the way this one stayed out of getting stuck, you know, there was maybe one, one or two times where you actually had to give her a little bit of a, a hit to get it out. But that, the other skinnier X27. The axe. Yes, the axe. Which, so, I mean, it is expected. That does get stuck a whole lot more. And I feel like if you were splitting wood all day, every day, especially in some of the smaller stuff, a six pound would be your best friend, you know, like. Yeah, I feel like if it's gonna go through like this where you have to half it, you're gonna swing a lot. I know I'm gonna have to swing a lot. I think I would choose this one because I know I'm gonna have to swing a lot. If it's something like 12 to 16 inch pieces where I'm, I think that I can one shot it, I think I would take this. Mm -hmm. But if you're splitting stuff really small and you're handling it a lot, I would probably choose this one because it's just light and versatile. But just preference. I don't think there's a clear cut winner. I will say either of these are both excellent axes, axes, moles. The vibration in both of them is minimal. Nice. They're both very nice. Very nice. You could split with those all day. And yes. And Fisker's has a lifetime warranty. If you break it or anything, send it back. They'll give you a new one. Um, I, you guys know I've had this one for a long time. I've split a lot of wood with this. It hasn't broke, shattered, splintered. It's good, good product. So that'll conclude it, I would say. If you had to pick one, which one are you picking? I'd pick the six pound, but I'm always the, I'm always the mole guy. I don't, I don't go mess around with trying to split a bunch of wood with an ax anymore. Um, I have a six pound mole at home. It's nothing like this, but the bigger head less less um circumference on the on your face i think matched with that six pounds is just a whole lot funner to use funner is not a word but and both of both of these are reasonably priced that was 54 dollars on amazon i think this is like 65 or 70 dollars now so neither one of them are blow your budget they're both mm -hmm. quality they both good feel price. good the handles on them are very nice this yes. is definitely got their handles worked out i like the little end on that yes yeah, so how your hand can't yep especially if you're you know you're getting sweaty or you're that one has the same on handle. a little bit no done yeah it's the it has a little edge edge too not quite as much no it's quite as big as that yeah. one but overall great ones they're go, both great go yeah. and buy one thanks for watching we'll see you next time thank you